Now, when talking about secretion rate, we need to focus on the part of the kidney involved in secretion, and that's the nephron, in particular, the tubule. The secretion rate of a substance is defined as the amount of that substance that is secreted or transported into the ultrafiltrate. This typically occurs along the proximal tubule, but is not limited to the proximal tubule. The secretion rate of a substance, which is expressed in milligrams per minute, equals the excretion rate of that substance minus the filtered load of that substance. Let's use the example of penicillin clearance to explain the concept of secretion rate. Now, penicillin is cleared by the kidneys through a combination of filtration and secretion. Let's explain using the following values. Glomerular filtration rate is 100 milliliters per minute. Plasma penicillin concentration is 4 milligrams per milliliter. Urine concentration of penicillin is 200 milligrams per milliliter. And urine flow rate is 1 milliliter per minute. We should point out that these numbers are just examples and should not be used as standards or for diagnostic purposes. Rather, they're meant to demonstrate the general purpose of secretion and its role in clearance. Now, given these values, the filtered load equals 400 milligrams per minute. However, because 80% of penicillin is bound to plasma proteins, 80% is unfilterable. The other 20% of plasma penicillin is not bound to plasma proteins, and it is filterable. In other words, only 20% or 80 milligrams per minute of the maximum theoretical filtered load is actually filtered. Now, the excretion rate equals the urine concentration of 200 milligrams per milliliter times the urine flow rate of 1 milliliter per minute, which yields an excretion rate of 200 milligrams per minute. From these values, we see that the secretion rate of penicillin equals 120 milligrams per minute. Also, notice how the secretion rate of penicillin plateaus around a plasma concentration of 1.2 milligrams per milliliter. This occurs because the transporters involved in the secretion of penicillin become saturated at this plasma concentration. You should note that the plateau phase of the saturation rate is referred to as the transport maximum, which is denoted as TM while the curve of the line is referred to as splay, which represents the plasma concentration at which the transporters initially become saturated and the plasma concentration at which the transporters are maximally saturated. In addition, notice how the initial slope of the excretion rate is steeper than the slope of the filtered load. And the secretion rate, while it levels off once secretion has reached its transport maximum, at plasma concentrations greater than this, the slope of the excretion rate now equals that of the filtered load because excretion is now solely dependent on the filtered load. Let's apply this understanding of the secretion rate to address the following medical scenario. During World War II, penicillin was in short supply, so probinicide was often administered in conjunction with penicillin. Now, knowing what you just learned about the clearance of penicillin, why do you think probinicide was given under these circumstances? If you'd like, pause the video to work out the solution. Probinicide was administered under these circumstances to help maintain the plasma penicillin concentration for longer periods of time by reducing the excretion rate of penicillin. Probinicide does this by inhibiting the transporters involved in the secretion of penicillin. Lowering the secretion rate of penicillin in turn lowers the excretion rate without altering the filtered load. The transporters involved in the secretion of penicillin, as well as many other organic acids, are located in the apical and basolateral membranes along the proximal tubule. Studies show that probinicide is also effective at increasing the plasma concentration of antiviral drugs, which suggests that secretion plays a critical role in the clearance of these drugs as well.